everyone. I tried to do a Facebook live stream yesterday to show you how my garden's doing, but I got a little bit too far away from my Wi-Fi, lost connection, so uh, the video froze and I kept talking, but uh, nothing was being recorded or streamed. So that didn't work yesterday. So I wanted to give you guys a look at my garden, the status that it, it is at now, and uh, maybe do some planning. This is Phoebe, and uh, I started to expand my garden along the fence line here. I don't know if you can see, but this fence line isn't straight. I'm gonna have it connect to that pole right here from these poles here. So what that's gonna do is open up this whole triangle and I'm gonna be able to till that out. I started with this old silo base and uh, the thought here is to make it an asparagus bed eventually, but for now, I, I planted the perimeter with asparagus and it's really taken off nicely. Yesterday, I came out and harvested some, so there's not a lot of tall ones, but you can see they are coming up. You look really close, got a beat going there. So that's what's on this line. I planted some beets and over here some onions from seed and uh, they're not coming up real well and I've been using a string but as you can see over here I just have stakes no string and I think that's what I'm going to do from now on because I can eyeball from one stake to another without uh, having to mess with string. I have radishes there carrots planted here but uh nothing's coming up in this area i'm going to plant some peppers and over by the fence line i'm going to plant some tomatoes over here by the fence line i use my large rototiller to till that up but uh in the garden i tilled that up last year but before i plant the peppers I want to see if I can uh, at least turn that up a little bit to give the plants a nice, good, clean start. So this is the beast I'm going to use to just kind of freshen that up a little bit. This has been stored in the garage. It's uh, actually a, a head unit that I got free and uh, doesn't seem to have a lot of compression, but let's see if it starts. There we go. Bulb 10 times. You can already feel the gas come in. Choke lever to one, pull rope five times. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. Move choke lever to two squeeze trigger pull rope one to four times hold trigger for 30 to 60 seconds uh oh now it's anybody's guess back to one oh have too much drag on it I'm gonna try to put it up here. Raise it with my foot a little bit. We'll see if that works. Back to one. Oh, we're getting there.
It looks quite a bit better than it did before. Before I plant any of the peppers, I'm gonna take a rake to it. Okay, now I'm going back to the house to get the green pepper and tomato plants that I started from seed. I tried some marigolds, but this year I just didn't have luck with marigolds, you'll see. Here are the green peppers. I do have a few Shasta daisies here. And those are my tomatoes. Started from seed. I did put them from a small container into a little bit bigger container. And uh, over here, you can see my pathetic little marigolds. I don't know if I used the wrong soil or what, but we're not planting those. One of the problems I have with my garden is I have great ambitions and then uh, too little space or too little follow through on the weeding and things overgrow to the point that they're crowding each other. So what I suggest is to place your plants, a little bit offline here, but place your plants where you want to plant them before you uh, actually put them in the ground. And my uh, self yesteryear would have said, oh no, I can get twice as many plants in there, but those radishes get huge and this whole wall here is asparagus. That gets really huge. So even this is gonna be crowded. So I'm gonna straighten that up a little bit and punch them in the ground. And there they are. They're not spaced the best, but as you can see, it didn't take me long. Now off to get my uh, tomato plants. As you can see, these are kind of long and spindly. So when I put them into the ground, I'm gonna bury them up to about the first uh, branch off. We'll see how that works.
And there we have it. I'll clean them up a little bit and then uh, let you see them. Well, there you have it. Thanks for uh, keeping me company on my garden endeavors. I think now I'm gonna grab a pail of water and water each one of them so they have a good start.